All right, six rain barrels ready to go, ready for action. Um, again, I got these parts from rainbarrelparts.com. Um, it comes in a kit, typically. Um, there's a few different variations, and you can buy the parts individually as well. Uh, the basic kit comes with that spigot and the grommet that it screws into. That grommet, another one over there that the hose is already in, and the hose. And then you, know, you stretch that over, and this expands, I think it was 8 to 13 inches, I forget. But uh, they actually have a couple different lengths you can choose from. Um, and I didn't, just, I didn't connect that yet because I don't have these barrels where I want them to live yet. Um, and then just daisy change them all together, as you can see. Spigot on each. For obvious reasons, you know, you empty that barrel, then you can go to that one, that one, that one. Um, I'm gonna set them on a kind of a as a kind of a tiered system, where the left barrel being the highest and the one hooked up to the gutter, then next barrel a little bit lower, next barrel a little bit lower, 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 lower. You know, for gravity feed, obviously. Um, and then when this last barrel gets full, again one more grommet, and then there's a overflow hose. And it that's not how it really how it's shaped. That's just how it landed. You know, you can. And it's, they're all accordion hoses that expand, um, but impressive. Um, I, I really thought it was simple to work with, a great option. I looked at many things. I was trying to build my own with parts from Home Depot and stuff I had laying around, and it really started adding, and adding up. This was much more economical. Um, the spigots are made of plastic, so I don't know what kind of longevity they'll have with you know colder nights and uh, maybe even freezing and then maybe UV damage all that stuff but the thread in the grommet that it screws in is a pretty standard thread pipe thread and you just toss that plastic one and upgrade to you know brass or whatever or maybe just get another plastic one so again uh, rainbarrelparts.com is where I got this stuff highly recommend it um, there's other good stuff out there too, but I just thought this was a really simple, quick way to do this. I mean, I just had to drill, well, two holes in the first barrel, but from that point on, three holes. You know, one in each side up top, and then one for the spigot, uh, inch and a quarter, and inch and a half. And then that grommet presses in there, and then the hose presses in, and like I said, I'll connect it to the next barrel when I get them in place. Obviously easier to maneuver them individually than as a big long daisy chain. So that's that, I'll, I'll get it in place and I'll show you here in just a second. All right, so there they are. Six barrels all daisy chained together. On the right there's the overflow coming out of that barrel and going down into the gravel and just hooked up to a, an old piece of PVC that runs to a ditch uh, for overflow. Um, and then on the left, you'll see the pipe coming down. Uh, that's coming down from one of the gutters. And again, it's just PVC that I ran and uh, uh, painted to match nicely. Um, let's see here. So yeah, there's the drain. And pops out there. I'm just dump it into a ditch. Nothing fancy. Each barrel daisy chained together, as demonstrated before. Turned out really nice. I'm happy with it. And uh, and then this connection here, um, I'll show you here a picture. As you can see, I was able to find a piece of coupling that matched the threads for that lid. And then that just screwed in and then pieced together with the PVC and then, you know, put together the puzzle from there. And then that, you know, goes up. I've got a clamp here attached holding it to the house. Another one up here, holding it to the house, and then, boop, up to the gutter. And then from the gutter on the inside, there is a screen, kind of a filter strainer, I guess is the word that you would use, um, that I just caulked in there. And that, obviously it's not going to keep out all the dirt, but it's, gonna, it's going to uh, keep out any you know, bugs and large leaves and things of that nature, so it, it'll at least continue to flow through there nicely. 
and I'm not sure how well it's represented, but you can see that, you know, this, the barrel on the left is the highest, and then they gradually tear down to the lowest one on the end. And that is absolutely not necessary. It may facilitate in the, the gravity feed of the flow, but, you know, that first barrel, once it gets to the fill line up to that hose, it's going to automatically spill over into the next one, you know, as long as that hose isn't going uphill. Um, I just did that because that's the way the landscape is. So it just kind of worked out that way, and I think it looked looked kind of nice or nice and symmetrical and ready to go. Anyways, uh, I do recommend this this product. This is pretty cool, really easy to work with. Um, and I know I had mentioned RainBarrelParts.com, but I I know I don't know if they're affiliated with, in conjunction with, same place, but. Um, the, the paperwork that I got all said aquabarrel.com, and the email said aquabarrel. So I don't know if it's all one and the same, but check them both out, and they should both have these parts. So, anyways, if you decide to do that, good luck. And don't forget to uh, make comments, like, subscribe, all that stuff. I always like to hear feedback from people. Um, if you have ideas or stuff you can pitch in for anyone else that may watch this, that if you have some suggestions or tips or... or uh, resources that are of help. That's what it's all about. Thanks. Mm -hmm.